So uh, thank you, Caroline, for your time uh, and coming to speak to us today. Now, some people will already know uh, Caroline, but for the benefit of those uh, who don't know Caroline, she's the manager of Cornerstone, the Christian bookshop in Whitehaven. So welcome, Caroline. It's good to see you today. Thank you for your time. Uh, now, we know that the businesses have had to remain closed because of the lockdown, uh, but you have some good news to share about Cornerstone. Yes, I do. So we're really happy to say that we're going to be reopening this Monday, uh, this, sorry, this Thursday, uh, which is the 2nd of July. Um, just mornings only to start with. So from 10 o'clock in the morning till 1 p.m. Right. And we're just going to probably do that for a month and then we'll be open back to sort of full time again. But for the moment, 10 to 1. <laughs> That's it, sort of easing back in gently. Exactly, That's yes. Okay. Yeah. So when people start flocking in on Thursday, what is going to be different? Uh, because there's been a lot of work with businesses having to make places safe. So how is Cornerstone going to look different next? Well, when morning? you come yeah, when you come through the, the door, um, as soon as you come in, we'll have a little table to the right and there'll be hand sanitizer. And we'll ask you if you could use the hand sanitizer. There'll be like a one way system in the shop. It's a very small shop, but we've got a table in the middle and we'll just have a one way system. Um, and um, at, so so people will go around like that. We, we'll, we've got some disposable gloves. So if people want to have a look at a book now, obviously, you know, when you yeah. that's what you want to do with books, you don't necessarily yeah. want to buy it. Um, so you can use the, the gloves, you can have a look at the book. If you don't want to buy it, we ask that you put it into a box. Right. And all the books from that day will then go upstairs and they'll be left for 72 hours before we put them back on the shelf. Okay. Um, and we'll do that for, um, you know, we'll, each day. Um, the same with cards that um, aren't in any plastic covering. If they're in a plastic covering... We'll, we'll ask the customer, and they don't want it, to put it to the side, but we'll just wipe that over and put it back on the shelf. Okay. We'll be um, spraying surfaces down kind of regularly after, really, after customers come in. We'd ask if customers could try and use contact less, yeah. but yeah. we will take money as well, because we know that, again, some elderly people won't have, uh, you know, a means for contactless payment. Um, but we'll clean the the machine, clean the surfaces. Staff will wear masks, face masks, right. and some might wear um, the visors as well. It depends if right. they want to wear the visor. That's up to the volunteers. Yeah. Oh, we've got these big screens. Yes. Um, yeah. In front of the till. Yeah, which are <laughs> quite high, really. Yeah. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, and I think that's it, really. Oh, two people only allowed in the shop. Right. Okay. Yeah. One time. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of lot of uh, preparation involved in making it a safe environment for you yes. to work there uh, for that duration, and and for your customers as well, really. So, uh, so yeah, thank you for that. It's, it's, it's going to look very different for those of us who are, are regulars at, at Cornerstone. But yeah. We know it's safe to go in. Um, yeah, and because it's just a small shop and only two people at a time, we can sort of, you know, explain to people what they can be, do, you know, what they can do in the shop so that everybody will know, you know, also the social distancing. Although I know um, Boris has said one metre, he's gone down to one metre, but we're going to keep to the two metres in the shop yeah. because it's small, it's an enclosed space. So, yeah. yeah. I think that's very wise, actually, yeah. very wise. And certainly taking on board what, how people are feeling at the minute yes. as well, really. Yeah. Um, yeah. Now, it's always been important, Caroline, to support our local businesses, and it's particularly so at the moment. So just want to ask you, how can we support Cornerstone? Well, we can provide you not only with, you know, books and Bibles, um, but um, we can also supply you with church supplies. I mean, things like candles, you know, people think that we don't, but we can do that. I mean, we don't have many stuff like that 
displayed in the shop really um, but we can order um, that sort of those sort of materials um, things like communion wafers you know yeah. and the communion cups and so on so we've got our books we've got cards lots of cards um, right. in fact you know our cards are very popular <laughs> because <laughs> of the words really they've all yeah. got you know really really nice words um and and then we have gifts as well we've got some really nice gifts um mm -hmm. from like you know mugs and and jewelry to sort of journal journal books and plaques and things like that mm -hmm. um, so we've got quite a lot of stuff quite a range um and we can order whatever you want right. <laughs> um okay. we we are very sort of competitive in that um we can often match amazon and sometimes undercut them oh. so the only thing is we can't send you know like like amazon and you know you can send something off to somebody we can't do that we haven't got the capacity we haven't got enough people to be right. able to do that uh -huh. but um but yeah we, we we um we can um you know we're a local we're a local business a charity yeah. um as well so um and we're a local ministry you know we we are a we are a sort of face on the high street there we do get people coming in who um actually don't really want to buy a book they just want to come in and have a chat and we get people coming in say would, would you pray for me right. um okay. and some of them uh i know some of yeah, most of those are Christians, but there are some people that come in and have said that. We've said, oh, do you like, we can't offer tea, but this is before. Um, yeah, would you yeah. like a cup of tea? And then, you know, they've either said, would you pray? Or we've said, do you mind us if we pray for you? And nobody has ever said no. Great. <laughs> I mean, we judge it, obviously. You, you yeah. know, not everybody would appreciate saying that, but. But yeah, so um, so yes, if you can support us, I mean, that's absolutely brilliant. We also take the books. We can come to your church right. or we can yeah. come to your house group or your mother's union or whatever um, different uh -huh. groups that you have going on, youth, you know, um, and tailor the books to whatever. Okay. You, yeah, or bring a range, you know, a range of different books and gifts um we can do that i mean um i've taken the books to lots of conferences but we can do it on a small scale bigger scale okay um we can get we can go into schools as well um you know if you're if, if a church is attached to a school or right that's but, brilliant yeah yeah so the sky's the limit really well yeah yeah, yeah. and if you and if and if you've got any ideas as well you know mm -hmm. of how we can sort of um you know get more people to um support us and also just get you know get the books out there to people you know? yeah. Um, yeah. Um, now for those who are watching caroline we were having a chat earlier on there are very very few christian bookshops in cumbria there are only three so i'm just appealing to people out there it's really really important that we support cornerstone in this ministry there are various places that i've worked at uh, around the country where Christian bookshops have closed down okay mm -hmm. so we're very blessed to have this and it's really important that we support it so Cornerstone open on Thursday 2nd of July 10 to 1 mm -hmm. and uh, they've got a Facebook page as well and mm -hmm. I've been on there today and they've got some brand new books in there but they've also got a sale mm -hmm. one of my favorite words so <laughs> I just I just want folks to know that there's a sale there as well, but you'll be made very welcome and very safe uh, when you pop along. Well, thank you, Caroline. Thank you very much. Oh, for bless, <laughs> bless you. No, thank you for your time. Hope all goes well on Thursday. And I'm guessing that you, you were saying earlier on about extending your hours um, when, yes. when it's safe to do so. Presumably that will go on the, the Facebook page. Yes, yeah. And we've okay. also got a, a website as well with okay. um, all the books on, on the website. But yeah, if you keep if, if, if you're able to keep looking at the Facebook page okay. and the with and that will have the latest up to date news. Yeah. Okay, brilliant. God bless. Thank okay, you. Okay, thanks Thank so you much. God bless you too. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye.